Hey guys, welcome back to Operation Passive Income. I'm Shane and YouTube just changed everything. They just updated their new partner program rules and it's a whole lot different and it's a whole lot harder. But we just started this channel, so we're gonna ask the question, is this still worth it coming up next? All right, guys, so what we wanted to talk about, YouTube's new partner program. So first, what was it, right? Now what has it changed to? And we're asking the question today, is it worth us doing this anymore? Is it worth it for small creators? And that's really where the debates really kicked in. Uh, YouTube, just only a few months ago, changed it from being able to monetize almost instantly uh, to requiring 10,000 total views before you could go through and monetize your channel. Now, they've really kicked up the notch and they've changed it to 4,000 hours, hours, not minutes, hours of total watch time. And along with that, you have to have 1,000 subscribers. This channel, as of, this, as of recording this video, we've got ourselves a whole 17. So we've got a long way to go before we could ever monetize this. So what does this really mean for small creators? And we've seen a lot of different uh, opinions out there from both big creators and the small creators, right? Because it really does affect everybody in some way. But what we're seeing is outrage, complete outrage from these small creators. A lot of them saying that this was going to be their last video, the video in which they're complaining about the new rules, right? Uh, and then you have a lot of the big creators saying this is the best thing that they could have done, that it does protect them. So first, I wanted to go ahead and just give you guys a little snippet of what YouTube said, right? So uh, they, they, wrote, they sent out on a, their blog post, they said, back in April of 2017, we set a YPP, which is YouTube Partner Program, eligibility requirement of 10,000 lifetime views. While that threshold provided more information to determine whether a channel followed our community guidelines and policies, it's been clear over the last few months that we need to set a higher standard. So starting today, we're changing the eligibility requirement for monetization to 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months. So again, it's not just a total of 4,000 hours. You have to keep this recurring. So you need to keep people watching. You need to get eyeballs, right? Um, and that's really what they're looking to do is they don't want, uh, they don't want somebody just taking a couple big videos, making it viral, one getting over 10,000 views and then just being able to collect the money on it. They want content creators that are going to consistently put up new content, right? To help build the community. Uh, so 4,000 hours in the past 12 months and then 1,000 subscribers. They say, we've arrived at these new thresholds after thorough analysis, number crunching, and conversations with creators like you. They will allow us to significantly improve our ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help drive more ad revenue to them and away from bad actors. Now these higher standards will also help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos from monetizing, which can hurt revenue for everyone. Uh, a lot, a lot of heat out there right now going to uh, the big man, Logan Paul, out there getting a bunch of videos with dead bodies and stuff. So hats off to you, man. Uh, that's a career killer right there, if I've ever seen one. So. I don't know, maybe next time, you know, keep the bodies out of the videos. So it, it makes sense why there's a lot of people out there because YouTubers, that's a thing, right? I bet if you go to any middle school, uh, especially elementary schools right now and ask that a classroom, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would put money on it 75% to 100% of them are going to say they want to be YouTubers. They want to make videos. They want to play video games, right? That's that is going to become the American dream is to become famous on YouTube. Well, I'm not looking for, you know, fame through these videos by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, we do want to have a following and that makes sense. But I think that there's a lot of people taking their eye off the ball on this one. And so uh, the next snippet that YouTube puts on here is that even if even though they're changing it, it's not just for new content creators, it's for the existing ones they're going to take monetization away 
from those creators who have been working hard. Uh, but again, I think, like I said, I think they took their eye off the ball here, but this is what YouTube wrote. On February 20th, so clock is ticking, we'll also implement this threshold across existing channels on the platform to allow for a 30 day grace period. On that date, channels with fewer than 1,000 subs or 4,000 watch hours will no longer be able to earn money on YouTube. While they reach 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours, they will be automatically reevaluated under strict criteria to ensure they comply with our policies. New channels will need to apply and their application will be evaluated when they hit these milestones. So um, technically, right now, if you go into your creator studio, you can click the monetization button. Uh, nothing's gonna happen though until you hit that magical 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers and then they'll go back through and they're gonna watch your videos. And what was also reported is they just hired 10,000 people to watch YouTube all day long just to make sure people are following these policies. And that's honestly not a bad thing. Like it's really not. There, there has been, you know, uh, one YouTuber came out and said that there was a bunch of ISIS propaganda out there. I personally have never seen that. Um, I've never really seen a whole lot of inner, like fully inappropriate content. But I have seen some of the videos my children watch, uh, video games, and just a ton of cursing, and it, it is really inappropriate. And so some of that stuff, getting that back down into an age-appropriate level, I think that's fair. And I think uh, I think YouTube does need to keep the content at a point where it, it's somewhat responsible, but they need to allow the channels for creators to be able to speak their minds and, and do that. But there's also, so many other ways to, to monetize your YouTube channel that I think, again, like I said, a lot of these YouTubers, they're not thinking outside the box. They're used to creating their videos, tossing it out there, and if they get X amount of views and they get some ad revenue, as long as they cross a $100 threshold, they get a little check. But what, from, from what I've seen, now again, this is a brand new channel, so I've never seen a YouTube check anyway. Um, it's not much. And in fact, I'm not creating this YouTube channel to make ad money. That's not even a, a that would be a little bit of you know pocket change if we even get to that point, right? But we have a long road ahead. Um, but to any, if, if any content creators just happen to stumble across this video, here's what I'm gonna tell you. <clears throat> I, have a, I have a recommendation. And this is one of my absolute favorite books. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? And it's by Spencer Johnson. Uh, it's a kind of an oldie, but a goodie, but it's also a really easy, easy read. I mean, nice, nice big letters. It's got big chunks of cheese in there, um, you know, and really the concept of it is if you've ever had to deal with a change in your work life, your personal life, um, especially in, in a, any kind of commission sales. So I've been in commission sales since I was 17 years old. I've seen pay structures change, go up, go down, move from product to product. Uh, and even in the industry I'm in right now, it's in complete flux. The whole commission structure is nowhere near the same as what it was a year ago. And this idea, this who moved my cheese idea, uh, this is what has kept me going and just being able to succeed where others fail, right? So the concept is if you have a maze and you put a couple mice in there, they're going to be able to search out and find that cheese, right? Now, what happens when you move the cheese? You're going to see some of the mice. They're gonna be able to track it down and find where the cheese moved to, and they survive. They continue eating. It's delicious, it's fantastic, right? Then you have some mice that they keep going to the same spot, but the cheese isn't there anymore, right? And they starve and they die. And we're gonna see that with YouTube. We're gonna see some creators completely fall off the map they're not even gonna try. They just, no money, I'm gone, I'm out. Uh, and honestly, for new creators like myself and others out there that are creating channels every single day, it's kind of an advantage, right? If you have established uh, content creators out there that are just falling off the map, that leaves more minutes to be eaten up by guys like me, right? Guys like you, if you're just starting your channel. Um, so it's, it's a really a great concept. And honestly, if you think about it, you can use YouTube to promote your products. If you're launching a product on Amazon uh, through the FBA, 
if you're launching or if you're doing uh, any affiliate marketing, which uh, I am going to dive into that concept here in the future. Uh, some of the feedback I've got from my first couple of videos, some of these terms I'm tossing out, people don't even know. So I'm gonna do some introduction to that stuff, but we'll get to that later. Um, but you can post a link to your product right there in the description. If somebody clicks on it, great, you can make money that way. Uh, there's, there's so many other ways to still profit from your YouTube channel and just getting eyeballs out there. So the fact that one small piece of that moved and there's so many people that are just, I'm done, I'm out, I, I can't do it anymore. Uh, that's their loss, you know? And, and it, it really hurts the community also, but uh, you just can't get it up that easy. You just gotta go find your cheese, right? The cheese is there, you just gotta be willing to sniff it out and, and go find it and make it work, make it happen, right? So when, when life becomes too hard, you're gonna have those quitters. They're done, they're out. Well, guess what? That's where you know opportunity starts to rise from you know other people out there. And those who are going to succeed from this change in the YouTube Partner Program, they're going to become that much more profitable, right? Because all those views, most of those are going to go right back up to these big guys that already have over 4,000 hours, who already have 122,000 uh, subscribers, 2 million subscribers. Those guys are going to continue to do better. Uh, but it also leaves that piece of the pie for us too. So if you're a new content creator, if you're looking at using YouTube as a form to create passive income, come on in. The water's fine. There's other ways to do this. So, uh, But I just wanted to give you guys my two takes on that. Now, hopefully you like this video. Uh, if, if, you, if you can, please go through and hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, also, please smash that like button, share us out. We are a new content creator and we wanna create great content for you. Uh, we are working through several different forms of passive income, lots of great ideas. I have the next 10 videos already planned out, tons of stuff ready for the blog. So again, you can find us at our website. It is operation-passive-income.com. That is in the description below. You can also find our Facebook group down below as well. Uh, now, along with the with the website and the Facebook down below, guys, I'm also going to include a, a link to this book down in the description. Honestly, it's such a it's such a great book. It's only like ten dollars on Amazon. Um, it's one I highly recommend. It's done a lot for me. So, uh, also, if we've had anybody actually read this book, uh, it's been out for a long time. Please add a comment down in the comment section below. Tell us what you think about it. What did it do for you? Uh, and has it helped you? So uh, that's gonna be down in the description for you guys also. And then if you guys can as well, I'm gonna put up the videos. You're gonna see one right there. You're gonna see the other right there. So uh, take, check those out. That kind of tells you a little bit about our story and what we're looking to accomplish there. Uh, but again, I'm Shane and this is Operation Passive Income. Now, I know that the actual video is over, and if you're still watching uh, at some point, I don't know if you've noticed, but this lady right here in the background, yeah, that's Janet. She's been working all night. Uh, you'll catch her dancing a couple times if you keep watching. So, uh, thanks again, guys. OPI, this is Shane.